Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and as you can see, we're doing a new build video. This time it's going to be in the Thermaltake Core P5. If any of you have ever seen that before, it's the wall mountable computer case um, with basically just a nice sheet of glass in the front. Um, so it'll be a really unique build. The whole build is actually pretty unique. It's going to be a computer slash server. Um, I'm building it for this company named WGI, which is actually the company who printed this table for me. Um, basically, they printed my logo up here in the front and all the other kind of unique designs onto this table for me because they have big flatbed printers at this company. Um, the company's name is WGI. Um, if you were to look them up, it'd be WGI.com. Uh, or also known as Wilderness Graphics. They have two different websites basically because they have two different sides of the company. One's the printing side and one's like the museum exhibit side. But I'm building this unique computer slash server. They're gonna use it to remote in as well as the server for the company. So it'll be a very unique build. I hope you guys enjoy it. So starting left to right, we have six Corsair SP120 fans, we have a Thermaltake Core P5 case, we have a Silverstone PWN fan hub, we have an MSI Z170A SLI Plus motherboard with an Intel i5-6600K, we have 8GB of Kingston HyperX DDR4 RAM, we have one 128GB Samsung 850 EVO SSD, two 1TB Samsung 850 EVO SSDs, two Western Digital 4TB hard drives, a Thermaltake NIC C5 CPU cooler, and an EVGA 650W GQ power supply. And now that I've caught my breath, Let's get on to the build video. So first thing we're gonna do is unbox the Thermaltake Core P5 case. Next, we're going to unbox the motherboard. Then we're going to install the 8GB kit of Kingston HyperX DDR4 RAM, as well as install the i5-6600K. Then we're going to unbox the Thermaltake NIC C5 cooler and swap out the fans that come with it with the SP120. Then we will install the cooler to the motherboard after we apply the thermal compound. Now I'll put the standoffs onto the Thermaltake Core P5 case and install the motherboard into the case. And now we'll screw in the power supply and start wiring everything up.
we're going to install the two 4 terabyte Western Digital hard drives. Then we're going to install the four SP120 intake fans. Then we're going to install the two one terabyte SSDs. And final step is just to wire up all five hard drives. The 120 gigabyte SSD will be the operating system. The two one terabyte hard drives will be part of the server and will be set up in a RAID 1 configuration. And the two four terabyte Western Digital hard drives will also be in a RAID 1 configuration and also part of the server. And now that I've finished actually building the PC, it's time to bring it to Wilderness Graphics. So let's take a road trip. So when I got to Wilderness Graphics, I unloaded the PC, and then first things first, I wanted to make sure it posted again. I tested it once at home, but obviously it drove quite a while. I wanted to make sure it posted again. By the way, when these fans are on full power and not being restricted, it kind of sounds like a blow dryer. <laughs> And as you can see, it posted, so we're good there. So first step in installing this unique remote in PC slash server was to create a bootable Windows 10 USB. The second step was to install Windows onto the computer. And by far the coolest step was setting up the RAID 1 configurations between the SSDs and the hard drives. Basically I set up the SSDs as one folder completely that they used, and then the hard drives was split into two different 2 terabyte folders that were both mirrored onto the other 4 terabyte hard drive because it was a RAID 1 configuration. To set up RAID 1, you just have to turn it on in your BIOS settings and then hold Control i when you're resetting the computer. And the final step to the installation was obviously just hanging it on the wall. The mount on the back of this case is actually the same as any TV mount, so any wall TV mount works. So I just used a normal fixed wall mount for a TV and hung it up.
Hey guys, sorry it took so long to post this video. It was kind of a long, um, took over about a week to actually do the install and the build and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there was that. Plus, you know, Pokemon Go is kind of distracting. And Next Tech News is looking to probably relocate soon. So I'm gonna be moving all this stuff um, in the next couple weeks, so videos might be a little short for a little bit. I have one video still lined up that I'm hoping to be able to finish editing. If not, it'll be posted the second I get into my new place, will be, which will be around mid-August. So we're only a couple weeks away. Um, if you were interested in checking out WGI at all, I did leave descriptions in their um, of their website and all that kind of stuff in the description below. And uh, it didn't leave descriptions in below. I left their website link in the description below. And uh, if you're interested in them, please go check them out. They're a very unique company, and I enjoyed building that computer for them. If you like this video, please click that like button down below. And guess what? Don't forget to subscribe. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!